I'm here with AdamaSports.com Female Athlete of the Week, Christiana, a junior goalie on the women's hockey team. Congrats to you and the team so far this season. Thank you. In Dama's 1-0 win over Quinnipiac on Friday, you had a career high and program best 61 saves, breaking the NCAA record for most saves in a shutout from 2014. Talk about that game and what was running through your head near the end. I mean, yeah, going into it, we knew that Quinnipiac was a good team and that we were going to need to have a strong effort from everyone, um, which we definitely had. I mean, we had 38 block shots that game, which I think speaks to, to our team and our resilience. Um, but yeah, it was a close game. It was fast-paced, really fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> now that you're starting goalie, is there more pressure than last year when you were coming off the bench? I mean, slightly. It's, it's just a different situation. I mean, coming off the bench, you're sort of put into a, a game, could be mid-game, or you're not told you're starting until that day, which is a little bit different. Um, but I think mentality-wise, it's sort of the same thing. Uh, you just go into a game thinking, oh, I need to make these saves. I need to do this. This is what I need to do to help our team win. It says in your bio that you lettered in badminton for three years in high school. In two sentences, explain the sport. Badminton, um, basically the goal of badminton is to get the birdie over the net to the other team and not drop it on your side. Um, this is probably over the two sentences, but I play doubles, so me and my partner, um, you're only allowed one hit each side. This weekend, Dartmouth will host a pair of games against Maine. Thanks and good luck. Thank you. I'm here with DartmouthSports.com Male Athlete of the Week, Matt Danilak, who scored the game-winning goal in Saturday's win over Harvard. Congratulations on the win, and congrats on being Athlete of the Week. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, in the game, the offensive attack was really strong, but Harvard's keeper was apparently ready for you guys. It took a long time for you guys to finally, for obviously for you to score that goal. Can you tell me a little bit about how you guys had to change up your strategy there going into the second period? Um, honestly, I didn't think it was too different. We knew we were going to kind of dominate the game and get a lot of chances. Um, but obviously with the red card, it did change a little bit. Um, they sat in, defended for 60 minutes, um, and made it really tough for us. Credit to them. They did really well. Um, we had a ton of chances. Didn't finish them until the end there. But, um, you know, I think we really believed that we, we would get one in the end. Um, and we did, so. Right. Yeah, and so this weekend's game against um, Cornell is obviously important in terms of winning the Ivy League title and placing in the um, like the placement in the NCAA tournament. So how are you guys preparing for it this week? Uh, just trying to take it like any other week. Um, you don't want to get too excited too early, um, too early on in the week. Um, we know it's going to be a big game, but at the same time, every game in the Ivy um, League is going to be a big game. So we're ready for it. Um, we know we're going to be prepared. Cornell's a good team this year, so it's going to be a tough one. But it's nice to be at home, um, have the fans behind us. So we're confident, ready to go. And Saturday is also senior day. So you're a captain, senior, looking back on the last four years that you've had, what are you going to miss most about playing Dartmouth soccer? I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's almost over. Um, it's just it's just the relationships. Uh, Dartmouth soccer, it's, you know, everyone who's gone through the program are going to be my best friends forever. And I just can't believe it's come to an end. Um, I'm so excited for the rest of the season because I know, you know, we're going to do really great things. We're going to make history. Um, I believe that, but I just don't want it to end, and I can't believe it is. So. Well, hopefully you guys have a couple more games left after Saturday. We'll keep our fingers crossed, and good luck to you guys this weekend, and congrats on being Athlete of the Week again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.